I'm going to explain bulk update or bulk collect option in the PLSQL block with the help example of procedure where I created a procedure called PR EMP underscore increment with the input parameter as like limit underscore IN with different data type number, var care or integer within the PLSQL block or the procedure we have something called declaration block where you can declare the variable which we are going to use we can declare the cursor we can declare the different types here I am declaring a cursor the cursor which will help to fetch the data from the table and I am declaring a type for that cursor type as employee underscore AAT and I am creating a record type of that cursor as I am giving alias name also and then I am declaring one variable increase percentage underscore in where I am giving 25 percentage or 25 I am having something called begin and end block where we used to write the actual program so in this begin end block I am opening the cursor in loop I am fetching the cursor data bulk collect into the type which I created in the declaration block the type name is l underscore employees with the limit I given the limit also for how much data I can fetch at a time in this limit we used to have limit clause to reduce the overhead of memory SGA memory instead of dumping the entire data we can do a limit we can do that much like 100 or 1000 record at a time and then clear the memory and again load the 100 record now I have for loop based on that, that bulk collect type for index one dot dot live count type count and then loop in loop we are doing the update on the salary by increasing the 25% of the salary like I given increase underscore PCT underscore IN as a 25 for each and every employee ID after that in the loop we are looking for the cursor no person not found which is a cursor parameter so whenever we are finding the cursor in the loop person not found it will come out from the loop and then we are closing the cursor and if nothing happened then we are doing a commit so that the entire transaction should have to commit suppose if you got some kind of error during this anonymous block or the begin end block we are catching those exception in the exception block in the bottom line where we are given SQL code and SQL error message so SQL code will give the oracle code the kind of code it's a or dictionary or defined code and the actual error message what error got we are inserting this data with the format error backtrace in the error message variable and then we are printing it here in the error message printing here with the dbms output put line which is a dbms function which will help to print the output or the variable information in the sql error m we have another option to log those information in some anonymous autonomous transaction block sql error message so that the non-technical person can read from this table and can find out what kind of error occurred and if some kind of error occurred we will do the rollback so that not a single transaction can be updated or no DM will happen and then we have the end of the block the procedure that's how we can write a bulk update operation in a very simplest way